We are good. All right. We're back. So? So, so what's going on today, this video? This is going to be the first unboxing video. Kind of new, kind of fresh new take. A review a for review. you, the folks to see. And an unboxing, which I've never done before. And I watched so many unboxings and I'm like, ooh, that looks like fun. We're going to give it a shot. So I got these for, for you on Etsy. Oh, I love Etsy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. These should be good. Animal pom pom set. Animal pom pom set. Hey, from Japan. Is a Japanese seller. Yes, exactly. Oh man, Japanese seller on Etsy. This is going to be amazing. So, shall we get into it? Let's jump in. I'll unbox these and show you guys what's in these little kits. Okay. They're cute. All right, let's jump into this. So this is the first kit, and it looks like it's a Shiba Inu. Oh, English instructions. Okay, so it comes with the English instructions, which is really good. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, excuse me. That was not from the box. Wow, this is so neatly put together. I love this. Wow, look at that. So this looks like everything that comes in the kit and then everything that you will need as a extra, like extra, um, that doesn't come in the kit. And then these are all just the instructions. So that's really thorough. However, the instructions are in Japanese, so I think these ones must be in English. Oh yeah, perfect. See, it does come in English. Oh, well, that's perfect. So it translates it all for you. Excellent. And then here's volume two. Oh, this must be like the second second half of the instructions. Oh, that's great. Okay, so these are the little eyelets for the dog's eyes. And the extra felting wool, I'm assuming for around the muzzle. And all the yarns you need. So it comes with the white and sort of the tan color. And then I guess the little bits that you will need for the muzzle and the nose and whatnot. Yeah, that's awesome. Look how cute that is. It's so neatly put together. Oh, I'm excited about that one. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. And box the second one. So this is the little kitty. And again, it's, it shows us what comes in the kit and then what you would need an extra, which is just scissors, glue, and um, a felting sponge. So if you're already somebody who felts, then you probably already have all of this stuff. And again, just like the other one, it's got your instruction booklet and the second half of your instructions. So this one doesn't look like it came with English instructions for this one. Oh, nope. But I guess I'll have to just wing it and give it a go. I think I could probably contact the seller actually and have them. Yeah, I, I think I'll have the, the, the seller probably send me the English instructions since I didn't get them. I'll just have to contact her. but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. And then it comes with the, let's see, rolling wool for felting the muzzle, I'm assuming, and then the eyes, and the yarn. Wow, this yarn is like really nice, high quality stuff. It feels really good. Super cute. Yeah, that's excellent. Look at, oh, it even comes with like, for the whiskers. That's awesome. Well, that's those kits. And then the last one is the actual pom-pom making tool kit. So this is the tool that forms the actual pom-poms. So what it says on here that I would need that little tool kit, that's the tool that is in here and then there's actually a sponge, um, you know, a felting sponge, which is really good. Actually, it's really dense. The one that I have is actually quite spongy. This one feels good. Then, so this one, I haven't used a pom-pom tool maker in so long. I'll have to get the hang of this again. I can't remember how to use these. 
Oh, that'll be fun. It's a fun little project. Oh, this is a felting needle. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. And an extra needle. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, this is packaged so nicely. Look at that. That is like, wow, that's packaged so nicely. So a spare needle that goes in this guy. Wow, I love this little box. I can put all my spare needles in this. Ooh, Clover, they do such a good job. Oh, and a little pom-pom tool set. So it just shows you how to use a pom-pom tool. And instructions are Japanese, but I mean, if you're already someone who felt, that's gonna be super straightforward. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already know. Okay. All right. All right. We're back. We're back. So we made, the t we attempted the kits. I did, at least, and... You made a beautiful bear. It's... it's a chow chow. I thought it was supposed to be a shiba dog. It is, but mine's kind of... First attempt, right? Yeah. First attempt. Not bad, though, for a first Not attempt. Not bad at all. It looks Not good. Bad. So, the thing that was challenging was the muzzle bit, this part. Getting the right... Sh the proportions there is a little bit hard. Might not be hard for other people, but it's a little bit difficult for me. Um, and then the ears. And the ears aren't... it's not that it's difficult... Oh, I got cat hair on my mouth. It's that they're a bit tedious because you have to felt from basically regular yarn and that's a little bit challenging, but... Felting the muzzle could have been tedious too. Tedious. 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 Not, not, I didn't, it's just, it was just getting the right shape that I was struggling with a little bit, but that's... that's it does look like a Shiba dog. The colors help. The colors are good, but I think it looks more like a Chow Chow. Yeah, it could be a Chow Chow too. Uh, I have like so much cat hair on me. Okay, so is there room to do a second one? Okay. If you script the first one, can you do a second one? Yeah, so that's the, the nice thing about this is that every kit comes with enough for two. So, let me just show you. This is everything that was left over after the first attempt. That's quite a lot. So yeah, you definitely, I would say like you have probably room for two, definitely two full ones with room for error. Like, you know, room for... There's it's a matter of practice. Just forgiveness. But I think the second attempt, I, I, it'll look a lot better. And so I'm also going to make the cat. But I'll just put pictures online and like little tips here and there for that one and just kind of see how that works out. I feel like the cat might have been a little bit easier uh, at a, as a first attempt, but I had only the English instructions for the dog, so. So is this something you'd suggest? I would definitely recommend this as like a fun little project. If you're already somebody who works with yarn, this would be like a very simple, easy, cute project. Um, and then like, even if you wouldn't work to get the kit, this little pom-pom maker is super, like it, it makes a perfect size pom-pom. And I guess we're gonna show them something? Well, I was thinking since the kits are a little bit, a little advanced maybe for like your kind of basic pom-pom beginners. You're gonna do a pom-pom with me? Let's say I think so. And you? Well, I think I would be challenging because you know all Your head's rounder? Great features are so hard to replicate. Very simple features. <laughs> Hard, hardly. Two round circles. You're of two round circles. And an oval. So, yeah, so the next video, I'm gonna do a couple more crafts with this guy and that are just a little bit more simple that you could do like without buying a kit. You just get this and some yarn. So that's gonna be the next video. So stick around for that guy. And if you have any questions about the kits that are featured in this video, we'll link it all on the blog, wakuwaku.com. You know the drill there. And- We'll link below too. Oh yeah, links and then also Instagram. Lines. So check the Instagram for more pictures and yeah, slide into our DMs, subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Instagram, hit us up on the blog, talk to us. We want to talk to you. And that's I want true. to talk to you. I want like a mean come on. Sometimes I'll talk to you. Sometimes he'll talk to you. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Come back soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>